Hey guys, Adobe Soap here, and today I got a follow up video for you guys on some of the new features that have been discovered within iOS 11 Beta 6. Beta 6 is going to be on the left on the gold iPhone, and Beta 5 is going to be on the right just for comparison. Now, yesterday I missed a few things, and I don't know exactly how I missed this wallpaper when I knew about it, but I forgot to mention it. You can see here that Apple continues to remove wallpapers from the wallpaper section here on the live wallpaper sections. You see that we only have three, no more do we have the other six wallpapers there for the live wallpapers jumping into settings here if we go to general and then we go to restrictions you see that we now no longer have access to the cellular data option without having to enter the passcode that was previously possible in beta 5. in ios 11 beta 1 up to beta 5 apple had renamed the lock screen cover sheet but if you go to the settings and notifications options in beta 6 they renamed it to lock screen so show on lock screen show to cover sheet back to lock screen in beta 6. when editing a photo you see here that the done button no longer overlaps with the status bar now easy to tap there it's been lowered a little in landscape mode you can see that you now have a text no old notifications and that the uh, time here has been moved a little further to the left giving you more room for your notifications in ios 11 beta 6 we continue to get new splash screen here's a new one for the health application one very small detail i forgot to mention from ios 11 beta 4 beta 5 and now beta 6 is that when you pull down on settings you see that the text gets larger and by the way the text is slightly darker as well when enabling reduce motion you'll notice that for the control center here you don't get the blur in the background look at the apps on the home screen when i, I bring the control center up you see that there isn't any blur on the home screen or on the back of the platters here for the control center now if we do the same thing for notification center you'll notice that the background here the wallpaper is preloaded we don't have a blur right there now, i also want to show you a pretty cool animation here when you're playing music and the media player just sort of flies into the notification center really cool animation check it out see it again let's go ahead and do that one more time so you can see a pretty it. cool animation there as well i'm not quite sure how i missed this one yesterday but if you take a look at the clocks icon there you see slightly bolder text and by the way the text is a little darker as well if you take a look at the music platter in ios 11 beta 6 you see that we no longer have the animation there for the platter in beta 5 we had that little animation up at the top right it's just more subtle and by the way the color is a little darker in beta 6 as well the new and in my opinion worst apple logo here for the app store you see that it is all over the place so it is under the restrictions area you can find it in messages you can find it in the watch application menu so it looks like apple is going with that hideous apple uh, app store logo for their devices in ios 11 hopefully they change that but anyway guys that about brings it into this video hope you guys enjoyed this follow-up video with some of the additional features discovered within iOS 11. Thank you so much for everyone who send me emails and send me notifications through uh, my social networks to notify me of some of these changes. I appreciate that a lot. It's been iDevice Help. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.